Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Acer Aspire 7 A715 series computer. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your storage, if you wanna replace or upgrade your solid state drive. So first thing, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access our bottom case screws. So you have these four screws along the bottom edge of my screen here these two near the top on the left, these three on the right-hand side, these two near the top middle, and then these two in the middle of the bottom case. So quite a lot of screws. After removing those screws, we're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool and go across the seam of the bottom case and pry it up from the rest of the computer. I say plastic pry tool because in this situation, metal's gonna scratch your case a lot more than plastic will, so I tend to go with a hard uh, plastic pry tool like a, a guitar pick. Um, but you're going to start on one end, work your way down the side. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it right on the edge and be firm but slow. If you get stuck somewhere, leave it, go to the other side, and go around in, in the other direction. So once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. So as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with any tools or supplies to help you in your computer projects, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a list of a lot of the tools and supplies that I use in my shop. So before I do anything in a computer, I always remove or at least unplug my battery. A computer is safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. Your battery is right here towards the bottom and it's held in by these two screws, one on either side near the top corners and it plugs into the motherboard right there. So if you're looking to remove your battery, you would undo those two screws and then right here if you look at your plug, your white plug, there's a good size grip on either side. So you can put your fingernails or a pry tool in that grip and pull it out of that port. Um, as with any cables in a computer, we want to try to avoid pulling on the wires themselves when at all possible. We could damage the plugs. So we always wanna pull or manipulate the actual plugs themselves rather than pull on the wires. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Your solid state drive is right here. There's a single M.2 NVMe port right there. And this solid state drive is held in by a single screw right there. So you undo that screw, you release the drive, you can pull it out of this port right there. I think most of you will have a 512 gigabyte stick that comes stock in this computer. So I will have the solid state drive spec information below in the description if you're looking for your own replacement, but I will also have a link above and below in the description. It'll be a list of all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer. I will try to have a 500 gigabyte stick in there if you're just looking to replace it. I'll try to have a terabyte and then a two terabyte stick if you want to fully max it out because I believe that the max storage for this computer is two terabytes. And I guess the last thing I can shout out about this operation of replacing your solid state drive, if you are replacing it, you will most likely need to install an operating system onto the new one that you install. Uh, below in the description, I will have two video tutorials for you, depending on which one you wanna do. One will show you how to install Windows 10 onto an Acer computer. The other will show you how to install Windows 11. Uh, but this is the video. That's how you access your storage in an Aspire 7. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.